kitchen this morning uh, with ideas on what to do when you get the leftover barbecue, leftover chicken, leftover ribs, leftover beef, whatever. Exactly. But you're doing chicken today, right? <laughs> We're doing chicken today. You know, and this could be one of those, because a lot of times you, you, you might go over to, to, to one of the grocery stores and get one of those rotisserie chickens, and you don't eat it all. Rotisserie chicken, whatever kind of chicken you have left over. You know what was happening? You know, during the holidays, we always have cornbread dressing. We make yeah. oyster dressing, different type dressing. Well, I was kind of missing that. But I had some leftover rotisserie chicken. They decided, you know, we have a lot of chicken left over when we barbecue. We always barbecue extra. We have the rotisserie chicken. So now why don't tell not? me you ever have leftover cornbread? Because in my house, we never have leftover cornbread. It I make, goes. I make extra. <laughs> there you go. So basically, all I've done is I've taken the onion, celery, green pepper, sauteed it a really long time in butter, okay. and I've added extra seasoning. Okay. I like to make cornbread a little sweet. And we were talking about this this morning. Gang, you can make homemade cornbread from scratch. You could use Jiffy if you want. You could use Martha White, any of the brands that's already packaged. Now, what's okay. the difference in making it yourself? Just takes a little bit longer. Okay. That's all. Just eggs and, eggs and milk, where most yeah. of the packages are complete. So basically, I added a little sugar to make a little bit of sweet because we're going with so much savory. Yeah. So I've let this saute down, and then I've just pulled the chicken off the bone. And that's just butter and, and the veggies, right? Butter, veggies, and, and your favorite seasoning. Okay. All right. And you want to make it strong because the cornbread doesn't have any flavor. Yeah. Okay. And you want the chicken to soak it up, the cornbread to yeah. soak it up. And I mean, look at all the flavors in here. And we're just going to dump this in. I mean, we could heat this up longer, but that's fine. And this really takes nothing to whip up, does no, it? No, because, you know, it's getting hot. We're going to have leftovers. Why not just go ahead and stir this on in? Now, a little chicken stock because we need to moisten it. Yeah. And you can do the cornbread with, is dry. Yeah. Vegetable stock, chicken stock. And you just want to mix it together, get a nice moist texture on it. And you know, the other thing is, I don't know if you do it, I always grow a lot of vegetables. Oh, yeah, yeah. You could do the same thing if you have leftover grilled vegetables. Oh, uh, okay. You know, and they're starting to what get a little soft. What kind of mushrooms yeah, or anything? The ones that you like. There you go. Usually that's the ones I always Everything use. Everything but broccoli. Every <laughs> if I'd have known, I'd have brought some broccoli <laughs> for you. Yeah, you would have. Yes, sir, you know I would have. And, and, and you know, how moist do you want that? Well, we want it fairly moist because what's going to happen in the oven when we bake it, often it breaks and it totally dries out when we bake it. So we're going to dump a little cheese in this. We're going to put it in the pan, pan and get it in the oven. How long cook it? We're going to cook it to about 35, about 30 minutes at 350. Okay. All right. You can check out the recipe of Kevin's chicken cornbread casserole on our website, www.tv.com. Just click on links. And if you're watching last night, you saw Kevin stepping out of the kitchen and taking over the Channel 4 tradition stories that are nationally in Orleans. Kevin did a great job. Went to one of my favorite snowball stands, went over to uh, Sal's on Metairie Road. And how many snowballs do you eat? Only eight, one. <laughs> Only eight one. Only one. I don't believe Only that. Only eight one. Anyway, you can watch the story on our Facebook page or on Don't our website, WWLTV.com, next Monday at 6. He'll have another story for us. Kevin, uh, we'll talk to a man whose hobby is naturally New Orleans. It involves birdhouses. That story coming up next Monday on Channel 4, and you'll keep bringing us those stories. Kevin, we're yeah. glad to have you on and board. And it's not just about food. All right. Yeah. It'll be you're, you're. We're talking about breastfeeding this morning. How do you know your baby is getting enough? And what are some of the problems that you can treat?